Hello and welcome to The Power of Open, a series of programs covering Red Hat's open ecosystem, where we talk with some of Red Hat's key partners to discuss the pressing topics in the industry. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content at Telecom TV, and in this show, we're going to look at enabling customers in a demanding and evolving industrial world. And joining me today are Kelly Swit, who is Senior Director, Edge and AI Sales Development at Red Hat, and Richard Kerslake, General Manager for Industrial Controls and Robotics at Intel. Hello, both of you. Thanks so much for taking part in our program today. Can I first ask, what influenced Intel and Red Hat to join their efforts in support of the industrial manufacturing industry? Richard, let me put that to you first. Well, we're going through an incredibly exciting time in the industrial uh, manufacturing area. For decades now, really, the whole of the factories that exist on the earth are really driven by fixed function building blocks that do one thing and one thing well. But now end users are saying this just isn't delivering what we need. They want to move on a journey towards autonomous manufacturing. And to do that, they really got to change how things happen. So they need the ability to really move to a world of software defined manufacturing. So it, one side of the coin is really driven by the need to have better operational efficiency. And then the second one candidly is the engineers that they're hiring in now from colleges and universities obviously are really not acquainted for, with the tools of 20, 30 years ago, and they themselves want to use the modern IT tools that are available in the industry. So Red Hat and Intel are working together to bring the best of IT together with the best of OT and silicon technologies to really deliver on this promise of software-defined uh, industrial manufacturing. Thanks, Richard. And Kelly, let me ask you that. You know, What influenced Red Hat to partner with Intel to support industrial manufacturing? Well, Intel and Red Hat have been partnering for years. We, we've been great collaborators um, in many of the, the innovations that have been happening across the different industries. And when we look specifically at what was happening within the, the industrial sector with the next industrial revolution, and as Richard kind of highlighted, the move to autonomous, um, there is clearly a need to bring in uh, the open source technology and community and culture into these organizations, into the communities that are setting standards, as well as um, the solution providers that have been so deep seated within this industry for many years. Thanks, Kelly. And so let me build on that and ask you, you know, what are the challenges that a company would face when transitioning from classical IT technology to the world of OT? So when we look at the operations technology environment uh, for the industrial sector, um, they have uh, prided themselves and have done such a fantastic job for many years on providing highly reliable um, systems that have um, high levels of security and uptime because as we know, every second counts. Um, it is literally a nickel in their pocket. Sometimes it's thousands of dollars. And so they have done such a fantastic job at the way that they have run and maintained their organizations. But as they look at the, the introduction of um, higher power technologies, like the use of AI, there's a need to really look at how they're going to unlock that data, which is part of what is really driving this transformation to move to much more software defined factories. Um, with that, there is a, a transformation that's taking place with um, the tried and trusted um, OT uh, service providers within the industry, as well as the, the individual um, organizations that make up this sector. And um, not only do we see the transformation of their systems or the applications that, that their factory workers interact with, um, but we also see a transformation taking place when it comes to uh, the way that they have traditionally had their network architecture um, with like very extreme uh, firewalls to moving to a much more kind of automated secured network um, configuration in order to allow for uh, greater use and accessibility of the, of the data, as well as um, further um, automating the operations of the organization. Okay, thanks very much, Kelly. And Richard, if we look beyond silicon, what is Intel doing to support technology innovation for this industry, uh, you know, including its partnership with Red Hat? 
Yeah, so one of the fundamentals about manufacturing is that it's a real time operation. Obviously, when you're building something like a car, a robot has to operate very much in a real time environment. So Intel's creating technologies, software technologies that really allow tech uh, capabilities such as orchestration to run in a more real time fashion, which is really what's demanded by a manufacturing world. We're also adding capabilities in areas such as security and areas such as onboarding, where you're really building a factory, you're taking new IoT devices, you're connecting them to this new factory server. This happens needs to happen in an uh, automated and secure fashion. So we're really bringing, if you like, building blocks of software that can really help extend the Red Hat capabilities and the other capabilities in the industry to make them even better fits for, for this new market opportunity. Thanks, Richard. Uh, Kelly, which markets are leading the early adoption of the outputs from this collaboration? So right now, what we see a great uh, drive in is from the discrete manufacturing side. Uh, we have great collaboration in the automotive manufacturing space um, as a starting point in discrete. And then if we look at the other side of the pendulum around uh, process, uh, there is a significant amount of collaboration taking place with the oil and gas sector. And we see those as two really starting points as we continue to move across the various other subsegments. And the thing that's very interesting on that is that we're seeing even the introduction of the telecommunications industry and in collaborating and driving that innovation through the use of 5G in the private networks. And so as we look at how we collaborate, not only from the core systems that are really running um, the manufacturing of the products that these companies uh, provide uh, to, uh, to our society, we're also seeing kind of this, this great opportunity um, on how bringing the telecommunications sector into those organizations is driving further innovation because that that latency that or low latency the speed of data if you will is driving um, further innovation for these organizations thanks kelly and richard what can customers expect when will they be able to access information and offerings out of this partnership well, we're engaged very much actively with customers right now, uh, developing systems into their man advanced manufacturing facilities. We're creating documentation, best known methods, which customers can leverage on their journey. Because what's interesting about this transition is it's really been driven by the end users. So both Red Hat and Intel are working with these companies to help them on their journey. And then we're working the two companies to create lab capabilities that really allow people to get their hands dirty and, and see this class of technology and capability with their own eyes. And finally, Kelly, what can customers expect from this collaboration? Well, as Richard had stated, we have already started to invest in, in building uh, labs or uh, solution centers, if you will, uh, for us to be able to collaborate together. And we have a physical one in Houston, Texas, as well as a couple others that we are spinning up that may be more virtualized environments. And uh, we are looking for our customers, as well as many of the existing and up and coming solution providers to collaborate with us have free access of, of the silicon and the software in order to test and, and evaluate um, how we can collaborate together. And in addition to that, we will be looking to bring many of the standards boards of the open source communities that are starting to help aid in the transformation of this industry into um, the facilities that we're standing up in order to help uh, not only collaborate, but drive further innovation. We have, um, our products commercially available to our customers. Uh, but this collaboration really is a starting point for us to innovate and continuously improve uh, together as, as a collective uh, community. Excellent. Well, Kelly and Richard, thank you both very much for joining us today. And to watch additional interviews in the Power of Open series, please follow the links below this video. For now though, thank you for watching and goodbye.